when we think about how hormones affect cells, there are a few general rules that we can follow and a few assumptions that we can make. So the first thing that happens is the hormone enters the cell by fusing to the cell membrane, thereby diffusing through the phospholipid bilayer. So the hormone then will come into contact with some sort of hormone receptor, thereby forming a hormone receptor complex. The fact that the hormone is bound onto the receptor will cause a conformational change in the receptor, thereby activating whatever function it may have. That hormone receptor complex will move into the nucleus, through the nuclear membrane, through nuclear pores, and bind to a specific region on the DNA. So this will be a specific gene that needs to be transcribed and translated to cause some sort of action. So the receptor hormone complex binds to the DNA at a specific site. So this causes a particular gene or a particular set of genes to be transcribed into messenger RNA. This messenger RNA moves out into the cytoplasm, so it might move out into ribosomes or rough endoplasmic reticulum, where it is then translated into some sort of proteins which will go and leave the cell or act in a way to cause some sort of response. So the proteins produced, if leaving the cell, will leave by exocytosis. So that is a generalised overview of the role and the effect of hormones on cells.